Hello, I'm teacher Ellen C. And I want to share with you today a few things that I'm doing in my classroom to help my upper level two students transition into level three. So that's it sometimes can be a very difficult transition, especially for the level stu two students who either are not reading on their own yet or maybe just barely beginning to read. But we want to prepare them to be able to have more output in level three and to be able to read independently much more than they have previously. In the lower level classes, the teacher to student ratio as far as talking is considered to be 50-50. But especially when they get to level three and above, we want that student output to be 70% and the teacher output to only be 30%. And that is a big problem for some of our students who are just repeating. If they're only repeating, it's gonna be 50-50. So I've been introducing some things into my level two classes to help prepare the students for level three and to try to reduce my speaking when giving directions to the students. So one of the first things is a card that just says, please read. And I show them this and I'll say it until they're accustomed to reading these two words, please read. And then I'll draw an arrow on the slide to what I want them to read. Another one that we usually do with TP TPR is listen. So when I want them to listen, I always use both hands, listen. But I also have a little card with the ears, listen, listen, choose. Sometimes they have to touch the screen. If I know that they're on a computer and that they're using a mouse, I'll hold my mouse up and say, choose, choose, or otherwise, choose. So these are just directions that they're going to have in class. Drag and drop. And then we drag and drop. I start showing them this as I demonstrate it. And pretty soon I can go and they may repeat it. Drag and drop. And that's fine if they say it. They're using their words. Draw a line. And with all of these, they have to get accustomed to reading the words, but that's okay. They'll see them on the slide sometimes. Circle. Very easy. Circle. And then demonstrate it on the screen. With some of these students as they're approaching level two. So I don't have to say anything. Another thing that we face in level three is talking about ordinal numbers. And I've run into several students who just have no clue what the ordinal numbers are, how to use them, how to say them, how to relate them. So again, with some of my mid to upper level two students, I'm now giving them their stars in a different way. You get your first star. First star. So they're seeing it. They're being introduced to the numeral with the abbreviation, the word first. And then I click on the star and they see they have one star. Then it's time. You get your second star. Second. So you can see how this goes all the way up to their fifth star. This, I hope, will really help those students as we get into talking about the days of the week and how we have the first day or the third day or the fifth day or the seventh day. But if they are at least 
used to seeing first, second, third, fourth, and fifth, maybe that will help them transition to level three. Another big thing that I do with my students is encourage them to spell their words. So when, if we had the word first, let's spell. I would probably have had the card, but we would say each letter individually. F, I, R, S, T. First. Let's spell first. F. Good. And if they are able to write, encourage their parents to let them bring a notebook to class to write their new words in. Then they can see it after class and they can look at it and hopefully it will help them to remember. So my three biggest tips right now for transitioning students from level two into level three is to introduce the phrases in words, written words, to introduce ordinal numbers when I give the stars, and to have them spell and write their words. I hope these tips will help you and help our students just to do so much better in level three. Have a great day. See you next time.